Hi, my friends. So we're going to react to the Doggerty. I can never say her name properly. I think is it Dog. Hang on, Doggerty dozen goes shopping, makes up absurd lies as to why she buys this amount of crap. And we are reacting to the Dad Challenge podcast. I think he's hilarious. <laughs> so, oh, first of all, let me give it a thumbs up. Oh, I did already. Okay. So let's get into it. Haven't watched this. No idea about it, but I know it should be insane. Absolutely insane. So this is three months ago. Three to four months ago. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy Monday. I hope you're doing amazing. Well, today we're talking about the Doherty Dozen shopping adventure. You knew it was going to come. I got like 400,000 messages about the Stam shopping spree for Christmas. Apparently, she spent something like, what, 30 grand? We'll take a look at it today. Oh, it was 30. I said 21 grand in my last um, upload. It was 30. Fucking hell. And she says that she's not, you know, she's not wealthy and... Oh, no, good luck to her. I don't care that she's wealthy. But don't lie about it, you know. People are not stupid. If you're spending that much money on Christmas for your kids... It's good that you can spend it on them. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing that you can spend it on them. But don't fucking lie and make out that you're poor and you don't have much, you know, much money when clearly you do. Of course we knew this. This is all she has left. She has no ability to make good content. And so she just does this because it's shock value and it's bullshit. So let's talk about it. Before we get to it, we got to spin the wheel, do a little dance. Well, she's doing it and we're talking about it and we're reacting to it. So she's getting what she wants out of it. <laughs> and so are we because we're reacting to it. So... Look, I don't think she's really hurting anyone by buying them this much. Um, people could say she's spoiling them. But I think it's better that she fucking spends this much on them and spoils them rather than gives them all that fucking junk food. Someone's going to win a prize because it is Snarkmas. Doherty D's Nuts December. Yeah, baby. And I will hook you. Like, what else could she possibly buy for these kids? They have everything. They, and I purposely did not want to know what was in this video. I am blind reacting because mm. I don't know what she can buy them. Obviously, she's going to get them expensive clothes because that's what she does every time. And, you know, clothes are clothes. But they already just got new phones. So, okay. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen. And today I am Chris. Dockerty, Dockerty, Dockerty Dozen. Okay. So that's how she says it. It's Dockerty Dozen. Where's the intro? A lush. Are you getting mad at my songs? Because I'm going to continue to do the songs anyway. Shopping for my 12 kids. I know. I am so late on this this year. We've been really busy. We went to New York City at the beginning mm -hmm. of the month. We were getting back into like all of our winter sports. That fucking eyeliner. What year does she think she's in? Seriously, what year does she think we're in that people do their eyeliner like that still? Oh, her eyes just scare me. And activities for the kids and just adjusting to all of that. So now... I'm like way behind in Christmas. Where's the intro? Christmas shopping, so I have a lot to do today, and we have to do this fast. So let's Why? go. But first, oh. coffee. <laughs> I love him. I just love him. Why? He says, but first, coffee. Hang on. I'm like way behind in Christmas. Where's the intro? Christmas shopping, so I have a lot to do today, and we have to do this fast. So let's Why? go. But first, oh. coffee. F off, asshole. She didn't do it, so I'm gonna have to put it in because we gotta do a song. So here you go. <laughs> First day of Christmas, a lush was sent to me. A <laughs> table of cold spaghetti, ovaries, four bird birds, three trips to Wegmans, two ugly thumbs, and a table of cold spaghetti. <laughs> I love it. On the ninth day of Christmas, a lush was sent to me. Nine TikTok dances, eight yapples wilting, seven days of filming, six brands of bank, five ovaries. Four burnt birds, three trips to Wegmans, two turtle thumbs, <laughs> and a table of cold spaghetti. <laughs> On the tenth day of Christmas, a lush was sent to me. Ten carts a heaping, nine TikTok dances, eight apples wilting, seven. Eight apples wilting. <laughs> seven days of filming, six brands of paying, five pounds of cheese. <laughs> Four burnt birds, three trips to Wegmans, two ugly thumbs, and a table of cold spaghetti. <sighs> On the eleventh day of Christmas, a lush is sent to me. Eleven cards of swiping, ten cards of heaping, nine TikTok dances. <laughs> Eleven cards of swiping. 
Bones is eight, the apples will take seven days of filming six, and to ping five pounds of cheese. Four burnt birds, three trips to Wegmans, two ugly thumbs, and a table of cold spaghetti. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. On the twelfth day of Christmas, a luscious scent to me. Twelve white claws chugging, ten carts of... <laughs> Twelve white claws chugging. Peeping, nine TikTok dances, eight yapples wilting, seven days of filming, six brands of ping, five pounds of cheese, the side of Pam's ovaries. Four burnt birds, three trips to Wegmans, and two ugly thumbs. And a table of cold spaghetti. I love it. Just because you didn't put the title in the list doesn't mean I'm not going to do a snark on it. <laughs> you can't get away from this. I Here's all the lists. How about your Christmas list? Nike, Nike shoes, Nike, Nike gloves, Nike. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bring them in with me because I pretty much know. All right, Nike shoes. Oh my God, how old is this kid? The writing is so bad. Oh, I hope they write better than that. Nike football gloves. They already got. They already have all this shit. A snowboard, a chain, gold, all black. Ru Rusus wrestling shoes, <laughs> football bracelets, rubber, a shirt that says "I love Morrison." Okay, time spent with family. Whose is that one? What they want. That's Deshaun's. Um, Deshaun's Christmas list. The hell does he know who's that? Oh, bought. Yeah, you already got all that shit. Uh, ten and a half. Okay. Holy, someone's got nice writing. <laughs> Bree's list. Holy, that's really nice. Bree, you got great writing. Just like, see, Bree's like, she just wants for her baby like toy things. That's, that's okay. Cutest thing ever. Uh, um, I don't know who that is. iPhone. What? Why do you need an iPhone? You just got an iPhone. Patrick. Oh, so Patrick didn't get an iPhone. Okay, Jordan. She skipped one, by the way. She didn't want to show you the one underneath that. I wonder whose that was. AirPods, phone for Jordan. No, your kids, she bought, just bought 12 phones. Who were the two kids that didn't get the phones? Was it just the twins? Who got the phones? No, Jordan made this other list too. Yeah. Um, okay, Bodie's list, rainbow friends, everything, which I had ordered on Black. <laughs> Papers are all full of dirt. And shit. Friday, oh my God. What the hell is Rainbow Friends? You guys have to see Harley's list. Look at Harley's list. Okay, well, you wrote for Bodie's list. Why didn't you write, write for Harley's list? We get it. I get what you're trying to do here. Okay. It says, My Little Pony. So I had done a little bit of shopping on Black Friday with Josh. That is. Eyeliner. <laughs> in a previous vlog that I will link in the description of this video. So now we have to finish. Where's your Christmas list? Here's my Christmas wish list for Alicia water. That's it. That's, that's on the list. Just drink more water. Like, I, I feel like you stepped out in too much of a wind. You just blow away to a dust. Shh, shopping. Okay, we can do it. I'm just gearing myself up. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Shut your bye hole. You're going shopping. This is what you'd love to do. This is your favorite thing on earth to do. What do you mean bracing yourself? F off. Starting at dicks. You're a dick, Burn. Deshaun and Alex want shoes. I don't know if they carry them here. I probably have to. Again, they don't need shoes. These kids in the last year have already gotten, I think, what, three new pairs of shoes already? Come on now, relax. Go to the specialty, specialty store in the mall. But not for Christmas. The Twins' first basketball game is on Saturday, and they need basketball shoes. No. Are you telling me they've been practicing without basketball shoes? I don't believe you. And of course they have basketball shoes. Probably the first thing you bought them. They do have basketball shoes. You're going to get them for Christmas, or is this just for basketball? And I did bring Deshaun and Alex's. Yeah, well, if they're playing basketball, they needed basketball shoes. Surely they wouldn't be <clears throat> playing with normal shoes. Especially her, she wouldn't let them. So Deshaun says Air Ford, Air Jordan 4 Retro Midnight. Here's the thing that's really, really scary about the Deshaun and Nevaeh thing, okay? They're not supposed to be living here forever. This was just supposed to be a temporary situation. And if they ever go home, there's no way that they're going to be getting shit like that. It's really, really heartbreaking. When you foster children that aren't going to be staying with you, I feel like there should be... Oh, wow, I didn't know that. ...be probably rules in place for the amount of shit you get them, right? Because the expectations are set. They might not want to go home. But the whole point... They won't want to go home, not after getting everything. ...that fostering and this kinship thing is to reunite with the parents, mm. right? Get the parents the help they need, then get reunited. This is this this is dangerous, what she's doing. And then Alex... right, because if they go home, and I assume he's talking about the two little um, darker boys. They're gorgeous. I think that's who he's referring to. I didn't know that she was not meant to keep them. 
they're getting all this stuff and then they go get sent home and they're not going to get anything and they've been raised like this, they're not going to be happy with their parents, which which is horrible, which is a horrible thing. Boxes, hoodies, XXL, expensive chain, expensive chain. Mm. Like why they all want chains all of a sudden? And why is it expensive? See, they don't even... If you're, if you're researching something that you want, I want this type of chain from this place, whatever, right? Except it's slow. Just get me the expensive one. Oh, so it, it, this is what they think. This is what they think is value. Just because it's expensive, it's valuable. Yeah, I mean, to Exactly. Um, she obviously teaches them nothing. She doesn't teach them what's worth what. Great, it's true. But they're not, they're just like, get me this thing because somebody, because I want to look like this. This is what Alicia's teaching her children. This is shit. Because this ain't going to last. Nike Dunks, size 13. Jordan 4, size 13. So she needs, her and Deshaun and his list are almost the same. Nike let I don't know what that is. Biomom is in town. Gee, I'm glad he's reading it, not me. Uh, put, uh, something to put a lock for my. I think that's put a lock on my door. Oh. He wants a lock for his door. Okay, jeez. It's uh, teenager, so sure. With me only because they want like very specific. Yeah, lock for my door. Specific. And she's showing that on purpose, by the way. This is gross. It's like a university. I didn't hear what he said there, so I'm going to rewind it. Something about gross. It's a teenager, so sure. With me, only because they want like very specific. Yeah, locked my door. Specific. And she's showing that on purpose, by the way. This is gross. It's like a university blue and midnight navy. All right, let's look at that. They're not going to be there. Well, shoes first. Now the twins are in that right in between youth sizes and men's sizes, but I'm going to look at the men's inventory first. $120 for kids playing basketball. They already have shoes, man. And this isn't for Christmas. This is just like, here you go. You have a basketball game. Here's $120 sneakers. Holy shit. But it is for Christmas, though. That's their Christmas list. So it must be for Christmas. Jason wanted gold. So. Ugh. What if we did the white one for Jordan and the black one for Jason? Her fingers, you don't know, like when you get like a shiver from seeing someone like get yeah, cut. like Alexandra's skin. That's what she does to me and I get shivers. And when she's eating, that's what, that's what it does to me. How he feels about this lady's fingers. There's something in their gash. You're like, oh, shivers, you know? Whenever I see her hands, it gives me shivers. Let's try it out. Let's see if they have it any sense. Come on. This is nice, These eyes are hilarious. Cause you're dumb. There you go. Oh shit, that was loud. Nope. Men's eight is the smallest. Let's see if they have the white. Holy! Oh my god, Alyssa, are you kidding me? No, nope. smallest they have is a men's seven. Oh wow, we don't have that here in the men's shops. I mean, not in the men's shops. I mean, in the shoe shops, we don't have something that we can click and then it will tell us what they've got in stock. We always have to ask the people. Okay, let's go over to the youth section. All right, why did you put that in? Why did you put that in? There was no reason to put that in. You're not getting those. Cut out to the part where you're getting the thing. And now, let's see. Just get to the machine. Yes. Thank you. Okay, he didn't press it. He didn't press it. Wow. So you order them like that, and then they end up at the front for you, maybe. That's pretty cool. Trades, I need two of these. Oh my god, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, man. That would be for three hours. The twins I know specifically just got football gloves. Already got them and new footballs. One of the footballs was $150. They don't need more gloves, lady. Stop doing this. If they're losing them and getting them stolen, then that's their responsibility. Sucks to be you. No. Yeah, but she's not teaching him any responsibility, clearly. No gloves for you, or you can get cheap ones. Gloves. Let's see, are these gold ones for Jason? Um, I feel like Jordan already has every pair over here. So why are you getting more $65 gloves if he already has every one of them? Oh, oh my God. I just realized that they are $65 each. They're Jordan's glo Jordan gloves. These are cool, though. I like those. Those. Did Jordan play football or something? Just pick some! Oh my god. Yeah, I like those. Just on gloves. $300 just on gloves. Fuck. 
She's got the nerve to sit back and say to people that she's not wealthy. And it's not even started yet. She's got about $250 worth of clothes in the cart right now. Sorry, way more than that because she got two pairs of shoes are probably 100 bucks a piece. She's probably got about $600 in the cart adding she's almost probably close to 900 bucks at Dick's just at Dick's. These are cool. Those are not cool. Like Those are ugly. Okay. Toothpaste. No thanks. Alex. All right. Alex. Alex is not a receiver. Why does he need receiver's gloves? Is he a receiver? There's no way he's a receiver. See, this guy knows everything about the family and what positions the children play. Now, that's dedication. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Alex also wanted some of the headbands. So we'll get him some of these. $20 headbands. $20 headbands. Just get one. You don't need three headbands. 60 bucks just in headbands. <clears throat> All right, I grabbed one more outfit for Dash because he's totally going to love this Minecrafty colored outfit. That's probably 100 bucks. Okay, I'm going to go pay, put this stuff in the car, and hang it to the mall. You, I didn't even see those. <laughs> it's probably 40 bucks a piece. Those are real ones. Maybe or 50, 60 bucks a piece. I guess we'll see the price here in a second. See, right. why, see why it's close to 900 bucks. So your total for everything is $681. Oh. Still, holy shit. Wow, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> wow, it doesn't look like there's much to show for it, does there? Twenty dollar headbands, ridiculous. Six hundred and eighty dollars. Where are the shoes that she bought? Did she not get the shoes? That's because I skipped it. Okay, I don't see the shoes. See, she I think she did get them. I saw him scanning the box. He cut that. She cuts. I know she cuts. Come on now. I'm gonna check out this store. Stop going to the store. It's garbage. For this specific thing that Jason wants. Do you have a Rick and Morty portal gun? No. Darn it. Okay. Thanks. She's like, no, and I hate you. I've seen your show. It's garbage. I watch that Judge podcast. He's funny. Yeah. How much is that? That's probably 150 bucks. Okay, so this will be for Jason. So let's get him some more figurines. Okay, this isn't on his Christmas list, Alicia. He wanted a Rick and Morty thingy. This is not on the list. This is so dumb. Okay, I'm going to go put these in the van now and come back in. Lock your shit. trips is she going to make to the van and then go back in? Okay, I moved my car, my van a little closer too, so I don't have to come up quite so far. <sighs> His eyes twitching. <laughs> I love this man. I hope you fall right on your freaking distressed jeans ass. Get a big wet mark. Right into a cigarette butt. It's our first like storm of the season. Which probably works in my favor because there's barely anyone here at the mall. Normally, Christmas time, you can't even find a parking spot here. <laughs> okay. All right, several of the kids want chains and necklaces, so I'm gonna go to this little jewelry kiosk and see what they have. But first, we're gonna admire this Christmas display. His face, the way he's so focused on her with disgust. <laughs> That's a small face when I react to Alexandra. His face is like, he's so disgusted. <laughs> so disgusted. Oh. Okay, you smell shitty. This works out because the jewelry. Don't film people. is right next to Bath and Body Works, which is what Nevea wants. Okay, pumpkin apples. So, I bought like 30 of those this year. So, I stocked up because I know they don't keep the good ones in. They're expensive. <laughs> Make sure it's expensive. Hey, what do you have here that's expensive? Well, here you go. <laughs> like, what do they want? Expensive. Like, do they want? You know, Cuban chain. What do they want? Expensive. Okay. I can't help you. <laughs> oh, fucking love him. I, I, you suck. It's cold. Cold. Just get him fake gold. Who cares? Or plate it. Kids are going to lose it anyway. They're going to lose it. Okay. Oh, these aren't bad. Like 35 bucks, 85 bucks. The most expensive one I can see in this is like 220. Yeah, but that's um silver or maybe it's white gold. Which is damn. Don't get this nothing over 50 for a kid silver chain because they are going to lose it. Like if your kids old like the older kids like Deshaun, Alex them, yeah, fine. Sure, get them chains. Don't get little kids chains that they're going to lose. Here we go. And if cuz and because they're going to lose them, you get them cheap ones. Okay, so, so silver. Expensive chain. Okay, so one does want silver. 
Gold for Deshaun. Um, my 16 year old son wants a how do you just do how do you do this you just sit there and talk to them so yeah. i'd like a gold chain i know i was thinking the same thing how the fuck is she just completely vlogging like that i mean unless she said to her off camera would you mind i'm a vlogger and i have to vlog this for my channel maybe she said that who knows and i'd like uh you know a silver chain as well they're like adult sized and then like is this not weird <laughs> is that not weird to anybody else you're just holding up the damn phone maybe a little longer Okay, let's get 22. No, don't get mid-chest chains for kids. Are they in the mafia or something? They have chest hair? <laughs> no. So... The chunkier, the better on a bigger kid. Okay, Alex wants a chain, you get him a chunkier chain. Shit, this is... <laughs> damn it. Again, for the older kids, sure. I mean, this is Christmas. I get that. It's not... That's a, that's a decent gift for a kid if they want it. But mm. the idea that he's like expensive. So... Are you gonna leave the price tag on? Make sure he knows it's expensive? I don't understand what you're gonna do. I mean, they like the bigger ones, so. He's talking like that. <laughs> yeah. I guess the biggest one that you have. Uh, like, yeah. 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 Please. Not the rope, not the rope, the Cuban link. Yeah, that one. What's this bigger one? What size is that? 375. There you go. That's expensive for him. 375. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> okay, yeah. And this is silver. This is not even gold. Watch as she gets to the gold. Gold is really expensive. The prices have jumped up so much with gold. Um, so also, are, you're putting this out before Christmas. These kids are going to know what they're getting for Christmas. Yeah. I mean, they know what they're going to get on their list because you're going to buy what's on their damn list. So, I mean, they're not going to be surprised. There's no joy in this family. None, none of that. None of the keeping secret what you're going to get for Christmas. Maybe the little kids. But the little kids are going to find out. Everybody at school is going to know before even the kids get it. Like, this is almost dangerous, too. Like, if you're going to be flexing on the internet how much shit you buy your children, maybe just be a little careful. You are in New York State, mm. so be careful. So that if the kids at school know that Alex is wearing a $375 chain, he takes that off to get ready for football, and someone goes and steals that. They know exactly how much it's worth because you put it on the internet. And <clears throat> good, uh, good point. Also get a 20-inch for my 8-year-old because he wants... No. No. It's the exact same thing like 16-year-old hands all the time. No, and here's why you don't do that. Because Alex would like to have his own thing. Why do you have to match the eight? Why does the eight-year-old get a damn chain because Alex got it? Uh, so maybe like this? $140 chain for an eight-year-old. Oh, it is? Okay. Whatever's the same. Same style. Yeah. Please. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's They're similar. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. It's you just said exact. Exact. You just said exact. Yeah. heavy chain like that on an eight-year-old she wants to get him the same one like this one that that's all right for an eight-year-old not that one a bit heavy that's none of those are the same <laughs> thanks though I, I like this one better you like that one yeah, but i'll get this for the other twin so yeah just like, <laughs> yeah okay so both twins are getting chains over 130 dollars chains each too so that's oh my summer. god and then i need gold uh also a 24 inch like larger gold no Deshaun's half the size of Alex. Please. I'm going to text my son and see if he wants a charm. Nope. Hey, wait, I'm here getting the thing you want for Christmas, just so you're aware, so you're not going to be surprised Christmas. Do you want a charm, too? Oh. My 24 chain that I'm going to love him for. At this point, why doesn't she just get him a charm? $1,500. Yeah. $1,600. Exactly. Exactly. That are the prices of chains. If it, it, the gold is astronomical now. To buy gold, it's just really ridiculous. Prices are just out of hand with the gold. Dollars. Well, I say that because a few years ago I had a part-time job where I worked at a jewelry shop. I couldn't believe the prices of gold. It was just fucking insane. You'd go and get a thin, thin necklace and show someone and you'd say, how much is that? And then you'd say 360 or something. They'd look at you like you're fucking crazy. I mean, obviously I was just working there. I didn't price them. But the, the price of gold is bad. <gasps> So Alex goes for the silver. It gets like it's like three seventy five. But because Deshaun wants a gold one, she's about to drop a grand. Yeah, she will. Okay. Oh, you did not. If it's thick, she's gonna drop a grand on something that's quite thick. I do that. Don't do this. That is dangerous. Okay, so twenty inch gold for Deshaun. Um, like... Let's give me the six forty nine one, but that's way too expensive. 
Do you see these are these are actually not even bad prices? Oh, but then again, this is American, yeah. That's right. I keep forgetting you guys. This is American prices. These are pretty good prices for gold. I can tell you now, these are pretty good prices for gold. For for the what you're getting, for the thickness and the weight of them, they're pretty good prices compared to and they're from Italy. Uh, compared to what we've got here, I tell you, you wouldn't be paying that much here. You'd be paying a lot bloody more. Yeah. I think it's equivalent to two and a half times. Whatever is on that, times it by two and a half times, and that's what would be in Australian dollars. Holy shit. I think it says 870. 870. Okay. Oh my god. And now we have to see what no they all at once. That's it. I need one for my daughter now. Like You don't need anything else. Uh, picky teenage 14 year old. <laughs> Get lost, lady. <laughs> Imagine this lady is serving her if they work on commission. She'd be, I hope she does. She'd be getting so, she'd be doing really well on this sale. Wearing these days. Shut your own teeth. <laughs> uh, this woman is crazy. He's so invested. Look at his face. He's so invested. <laughs> Just pick one. Did she end up ringing her son? Did she end up ringing her son and asking him if he wants a charm? She didn't ring him. Jeez, I can't pick this stuff out. You just picked four chains out, totaling fifteen hundred eighty-five before tax. Really? I like. Oh no, I just messed up. They texted Alex. He does want a cross for his chain. She ended up ringing him. So that's a bigger chain. Uh, so what do you have that will fit? Again, no, no surprises. What do you want? I'm getting the thing that you want exactly for Christmas. Tell me what else you want. I'm at the mall. I'm gonna buy it right now. Like, Merry Christmas! No surprises. No, no magic of Christmas. It's all gone. Like, I feel like I was thinking about this today. That when the poorer you are, depending on what kind of Christmas, because I remember growing up super poor, but Christmas is being amazing. I honestly think that the poorer you are, the better Christmas is if you. If it's a good Christmas, does that make sense to you? Yeah. Like rich kids grew up with everything and are spoiled rotten. Chris yeah, it doesn't really have the same effect. It doesn't have the same effect when when you're not doing as well and you and you get some really good presents for Christmas. It really makes you appreciate things a lot better. Just doesn't have as I don't think has as much joy or magic yeah. as if it, when you're broke and don't have anything and then you finally get a, like a Christmas. Does that make sense? Yeah. So these kids aren't gonna. There's no joy here. There's no magic. It's, it's so sad. <laughs> sad is that she shows off like she really shows off she tries to low-key not show off but you can tell she's showing off and not only that she lies to her um subscribers and she's trying to tell them that you know she's that, that she's just like them and lives in that house that you know it doesn't look anything special um for how much money she's got she tries to as this bloke says here josh she tries to make out like oh, i'm just like you um no you're not not if you can drop that much money in one go. No, you're not. Bigger crosses. Uh, Shit. Any of these on this end as well? Uh, what do you want to cross? Jordan, Jason, Alex, Nevaeh. Okay. You're done. Get on there, lady. I'm a charm for Deshaun now. Oh my God. Get one. Oh, okay, buy one, get one. I like this one in the front. That's on. Okay. So she just dropped nineteen hundred and fifteen dollars at the jewelry store plus six. What was it six ninety? So she's already at twenty six hundred dollars. Two spots and has only shopped for like three, four kids. On there, I'm going here to get the base stuff. All right, she likes vanilla scented stuff. We've got little gift sets out there. There, that's cute. Yeah, and this stuff is not cheap. This stuff in that that place is not cheap either. All the the body lotions and the scent, this. All that sort of stuff, because my nieces buy from there too. They will add thirty bucks to that. To the Apple Store. What? The school computers are not compatible with the sites they want to use. What is that supposed to mean? No. 
What is it that an iPad can do that a school computer can't do? Are you talking about the school computer locks them out of certain websites? Is that what you're saying to me right now? Like gaming sites and all the porn sites, all that stuff. Is that what you're saying? So you're, are you about to buy your kids iPads for school? Even though they have school computers. Oh my God. She wants to get them iPads with the keyboards. Excuse me. You want to buy your kids iPads with keyboards so they can do their homework, but they already have school computers. But the school computers are not compatible with websites. Are you? Why are you lying? Yeah. This is the worst lie you've ever said. Too like, what, do you are, do you think people are really this stupid? Why are you lying? Just get them where you're gonna get them and stop making excuses. You're looking for ways to spend money because this shit is what gets you views. It gets people talking about you. This is your plan. And, so and, stop. And it worked. We're talking about it. You're damned lying. You damned liar. <laughs> All right, there is a line there. Jeez, it seems to be like. Everyone, well, when I say everyone, I'd say about 85% of people who have YouTube channels fucking lie. Thank God I'm just a reaction channel. Fuck, I've got nothing to lie about. My God, what is wrong with these people in their lies? Can't they ever tell the truth? I'm going to go do some shopping and come back around and see if um, it's not quite busy. Just tell the truth for once in your damn life. Not compatible with some websites. What? The brush doesn't go by the boat. Does her husband get any gift? I'm coming to. Well, one of the other stores I'm coming to. I hey, got to get it. My kids would like Jordan okay. Fours, University Blue, okay. size 13. No. Okay. Nike Dunks. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Just get me whatever the hell I'm gonna spend my money. <laughs> and she's making it like she's never read this before. I don't need both pairs. One pair is fine for Christmas. Brian, size so imagine writing a list knowing you're gonna get that damn list, and like older kids are getting ten thousand dollars worth of stuff, and the little kids are getting My Little Pony. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes the children happy. That's what they want. They don't care how much you know gets spent on them. That makes them happy. A little pony might make them happy. But I know, I know what he's saying. Don't forget, Alex got a Jeep. A Jeep. No. Let's see if I have a 13 oh in this one. Is that Midnight Blue? Because that looks gross. That's baby blue. It looks ugly. Those are ugly. Sorry. Not my taste. Could be other people's taste, but I think they're 800. And, does that say $850? Oh, no fucking way. It looks like I do have a 13. Those are 550 if not. $500! Yeah. $550. More out of double check. Okay. These ones ten and a half might be around between four four hundred four twenty five. Jesus. Nope. Nope. Not two. Not two pairs then. What? Okay, and then. And then. All right. So I'm gonna get Nevea some too. He's looking for Deshaun and Alex. Oh, okay. So, but I do have anything Jordan is expensive anyway. Anything Jordan. Those are those are ugly. Oh, University Blue. Okay, so it's Duke or something. Retro for twin boys or girls. Boys. Now I gotta say, um, Australia's pretty good with shoes. Australia's pretty good with shoes, but not like America. I couldn't get over the amount of different colours. Like I love these. I think these are gorgeous. I love colour. I think they are all beautiful. Um, I think you guys have the nicest, nicest um I don't know what you call. We call them runners. Uh, what do you call them again? I forgot. Sneakers. Yeah, you guys have got the best fucking sneakers. I know some of them are really expensive, but you can also buy some um, nice ones that are not too expensive. But um, especially if you wear them every day. I mean, these are really not too running. These are just show shoes, yeah? You just wear them with your jeans and stuff like that. But um, I think they're fucking gorgeous. I love them. I think they're absolutely beautiful, and you guys have a great selection of them. And... I think I bought about three or four pairs when I was in America. Uh, but I bought them from Ross. So that's different. <laughs> so you can tell. I like a bargain. Whereas my husband, really, bought, he bought some Jordans over there. And he bought three pairs. He never buys anything for himself. So I was pushing. He was going, nah, it's too expensive. I said, fuck off. Just buy them. Just buy them. I said, you work hard. Just buy them. You deserve them. Just buy them. I had to really push him to buy the three pairs that he bought. 
Okay. And she's getting. Where, what about the other kids? Holy and, shit! And let me tell you, they were no, they were nowhere near the three hundred, even the near the three hundred dollar mark. And he was still emming and ahhing about them. Like they were only like about a hundred and sixty dollars or something each. Or I think the most expensive one was about a hundred and eighty. But they like anything. They just want okay. anything. Um, it depends on what you're looking. But that's because my husband has a conscience, you know. <laughs> he he doesn't have to buy five hundred, six hundred dollar pair of shoes to feel good about, you know. But if you got the money, of course you'd you you'd, know you'd, you wouldn't think twice about it. You'd buy it, and good luck to the people who have got the money and can just go out and buy it. But this this woman here is a real um she's a real liar, a real liar and a real show off. Before and then we got are you, are you big on black white Oreo University blue? Um, well, let's not, get the white for Jordan. This one here. Yeah. Didn't she just buy them basketball shoes at Dick's or did she not get those? I shouldn't have skipped. I'm sorry. Okay, this is what you. Okay, you joined us. Uh, you're in grade five, like grade four basketball. Oh, I love these ones. See, I wouldn't wear them. I love the look of them, but I wouldn't wear them. I don't like the high tops like that, but they're nice. Really nice. Here's $400 shoes. Which ones wanted? No, they didn't. You just made that shit up. You, didn't, you said they want anything. He picked. Then she's like, this is what the twins wanted. No, no, it's not. Yeah. You're just making that up. I think that should be everything here. Yes. <laughs> How much? Okay, it's all of them. Yeah, so we got two in his bag, two in his bag. I reckon about nine hundred dollars. Let's see. Okay. No price, but they're gonna be. I'm guessing. Oh, what am I saying? Nine hundred dollars. There's gonna be more. One pair was five hundred and fifty. What was I talking about? Five hundred bucks for the size thirteens. Yeah. Four fifty plus each of those are at least two hundred fifty dollars for a pair of those. Jordan said she bought the kids. Plus Nevaeh's were probably another two two hundred fifty. I'm just these are like conservative estimates. She's already at four thousand three hundred dollars. I'll show you guys all these shoes in a moment. Let me find somewhere to put them down. Okay, that's Jordan, Jason, Nevaeh. Nevaeh, no. Dishon, no. Alex. Holy shit, you idiot. I was trying to talk shoe lingo with me, but I don't really know any of that. I'm sorry. You don't know anything of me. Shut up. I'm gonna go back and see if the um, Apple Store is still busy. Drop off to the van and come back in. She's got. If she Fucking hell. I hope someone's not watching her van. Can you imagine someone sees her keep going back and forth to the van? I think that would be a fucking great van to break into. She drops this off. She's going to have $4,000 worth of shit in her van. Yeah. Dangerous. Right, I know. Yeah. This one's insane. Okay. Like, she's like, she doesn't get. Um, someone doesn't follow her and I can't check her. So that's good. <laughs> um, I need 12 iPads. Again. Oh. What the Oh my God. Can you imagine walking into an Apple store and saying to them, oh, I need 12 iPads. Can you imagine just the look of the person on their face? What? Oh, <laughs> what the shit. Um, I need 12 iPads. You are out of your freaking mind, lady. Yep. Do all of your kids have homework? Mm -hmm. She just, again, why lie? Just say you're buying your kids absorbent amount of shit. And you don't care. Stop lying about why you're buying them because who, no one believes you. So you just made it. So you gave us people, you gave us haters things to talk about. Why yeah, lie? Yeah. Harley doesn't have homework. Okay. Bodhi doesn't have homework. Likely the, up until like grade six, seven, no homework. Yeah. What And what websites do they need to access? What an effing liar. Just stop lying, Alicia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Don't leave. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Like, what are the difference? Yeah. Price. And power. Um, there's, so there's a lot of different types. Okay. Um, um, these are the new ones. She has no idea what ev what she's even buying. She has to rely on them to really take her through each one. I mean, I don't blame her. Neither would I. But going in blinded like that, not even knowing approximately how much you're going to spend, and then you got the nerve to sit back and say that you don't have enough. You don't have a lot of money. You're not rich. So, I mean, so they're all gonna be no, they're going to put out the old ones. In the Apple Store, just put out the old ones. Yeah. They're all new. Okay. All of the iPads are the newest of their category. Uh, this is the newest iPad Pros. Okay. Down there is the no, new. Don't eat iPad Pros. It's like two grand for an iPad Pro. Yeah. And didn't they all just get iPhone 14s, which are literally as powerful as an iPad or more in some cases? So you did not need to get them all iPads too. Plus, don't they already have iPads? All of them already have iPads and Nintendo Switches and PS5s and PS4s and everything. They already have all this. Why is she getting them again? And they have phones. Across the yeah, that's, yeah, that's the one I want. Yeah, I right. Wait, how much is this one compared to the Pro? Yeah, that's one. Yes. 4.49 per iPad. Yeah. Please. Uh, hold on, because I need some keyboards. You don't need keyboards. There's one in it. 
Oh my they're, god, she's gonna get each one of them keyboards as well. Gonna lose it. They're gonna break it. They don't need it. Not 12 anyway. Not it. No, maybe two or three of them. You know what I want to do with her? I want to sit her down and saturate her skin with cream, moisturizer. Her skin is so dry, she looks like I could file my nail on her forehead. Oh my god, his skin is so dry. Okay, could, okay, wait, so Alex, James, Nevaeh, Patrick, and Sean, Ray, Zoe, could I get, um, yeah, nine keyboards, I think, okay, Alex, yes, Alex, James, Nevaeh, Patrick, Deshaun, Bree, Zoe, Seven. Okay. Seven keyboards. Yeah, you got, okay. I want to. Let me see. I'm gonna make sure you have. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's see how much you have. Go. How many you have? All right. Let's look at some. Oh my God! This effing woman. Wow. Okay, it's called this. the Magic Keyboard, and they are about four hundred dollars for the keyboard. Oh my God! Yeah, I she think spent... he said it was four fifty for the keyboard. Thirty six hundred dollars just on keyboards. Mm. We are now at if she's just buying this, and I know she's not done thirteen thousand seven hundred eighty eight dollars, and she's only shopped. For, a, for not not even close to everybody. <laughs> Don't get those. They're going to get broken. They're way too expensive. Don't get those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's for real, bro. It's for real. And she gets to write this all off for her videos. I'm really buying 12 iPads, yes. You're such a douchebag, Alicia. Look, I get understand. I understand Christmas. I get it all. But she's not like. The, here's the thing: you yeah. don't have to show everybody what you're getting your children. She's doing this as a big flex and a big f you to everybody. Yeah. Look how awesome I am. Mostly for those people that she was friends with before all this happened. Now mm -hmm. she's trying to show everybody how how big of a player she is, how good she is. Look, but in the end, again, we all see that a lot of us are. Like, people can be jealous of this. I know a lot of people are probably jealous of this. It does have, give give people feelings of jealousy, which then enrages them. If I wanted to buy each one of my kids iPads, I could absolutely go in and to the mall and buy anything I want. Yeah. I have enough money. We make enough money that my kids could have anything they wanted and I would be okay. Okay, I'm not jealous. I could do this. I'm just not effing stupid. That's right. Right. I want my kids to appreciate what they have. That's exactly right. And not just get everything they want all the time. Yeah. Because I want my kids to understand the value of things. That's right. Right. They work for things. They get. They do their chores. They Absolutely right. Make money. If they want to get something special, they can get it. So don't come at me and say, oh, you're jealous. But I can understand why people can feel really, 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 you know, envious of her life. And that's just, ew. I'm not. I'm like him. I would just think she's absolutely fucking stupid. She's just stupid because they're really not going to appreciate everything that's given to them. It's just a fact. Children don't. Right? To make you, because you want people to feel envious of you. And this is her whole flex, showing the prices of everything, get it all like, <laughs> don't know anything about shoes. Here's 10 grand on shoes. It just, it's gross, especially during this time where everything, where almost every lower middle class, middle class and lower middle class family is just struggling. With I know. I know, that's so sad. Everything. She just doesn't have to do it. That's my, that, my whole thing is go ahead and do it. You just don't have to show it to everybody. But she knows that this is going to get her the views. But if you look at this video, and this is what I'm talking about right here. You want to know what pisses people off? Right here. 5.9 thousand downvotes for 5.8 thousand upvotes. She's getting ratioed. And I say mad ratioed because more downvotes than upvotes is a massive ratio on YouTube, even by one. It's not 50, she doesn't get a 50% like ratio. That's like a 20% like ratio in the back end when she sees this video. People are telling her, this is disgusting. Mm -hmm. She's deleting comments probably by the thousands, by the way. Yeah. This is disgusting what she's doing here. This video is gross given the economic reality of millions of people, just gross. Let's hope the kids don't watch their sneak peek. The kids don't have to watch. They gave her the list. She's going to buy everything on the list. Mm -hmm. They know what they're getting already yeah. because there's no magic here. There's no surprises, nothing. Isn't, isn't the best part of Christmas is that your kid has been like pining for something like you can get them something that they, they probably don't expect and then the surprise and the just adulation on their faces and the thankfulness. That's like the magic of giving for me is my kids getting that one thing. I remember when I was little and I opened up my Nintendo Entertainment System, I almost had a heart attack because we were <laughs> like not rich at all. But we got that thing and it was because and we got it like a year and a half after everybody else had already had it. Mm. But still to this day, I remember that moment. These kids don't get any magical moments. And it's just sad. It's a case, so I'm actually going to get 12 of these. Hold on. Maybe I got that price wrong. All right, Apple iPad keyboard case. Nope, they are 329 So I'm keeping my price where it was. 
And I'm being very, very conservative in my estimate right now. That's fun. Super fun. Yeah. Idiot. You such. You're such a douche. You can buy cheap versions of those on Amazon. Instead of just buying cases, this is a case. It's not a case for kids, though. It's not. And has a keyboard. Nope. That shit's gonna get broken real quick. Yeah, I'm to up. Oh my god. I would be. I would be embarrassed to walk through shopping center. Holding that many iPhone things. Oh, sorry, iPhone, iPad things. I would be embarrassed. Like I'd, I'd feel so like I was showing off. But she has no shame. Okay, so they're gonna bring those out the back door to me, so I don't have to like walk through them while. Carrying oh, okay. Carrying twelve bags, and uh, yeah, I'll go pick those up at their back door. And you're leaving after this, right? That's it. You're done now. You spent thirteen thousand. Over your, I will just round it up because I was conservative. She's already at fourteen thousand dollars. You can't just know. She is leaving. Nice shirt, by the way. You look dumb. I know it's so fucking ugly, so ugly. She spends all that money. You think she could buy something nice for herself? Maybe she thinks that is nice. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Find it at first. On account of, um, yeah. She probably, you know, she does. She goes in these stores and be like, it's okay, guys, I'm a YouTuber. It's like, this is for YouTube videos. And then they go, oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, that's exactly what she says. Mm -hmm. Because I, otherwise, why are you filming it all? Yeah. These people are, she's so. <sighs> no, the weather. Don't let it escape you either that this woman has, we know of, fi like 15, she's rocking home $14,000 worth of Christmas gifts and everybody knows her address. Everybody knows where they live. If you and Christmas is like one of the biggest times of year, like breaking enterings and people stealing tons of shit all the time. December is notorious for it. Also, you live in a state with a huge, huge crime rate, and you're going on the internet with adopted and bio kids at home, right? Telling everybody where you're going to be at all times. Yeah, you maybe have some cameras, but if a thief wants fourteen thousand dollars worth of shit, they know where to find it. That's how dumb you are. You're silly. I think most of the rest of the stuff I can online shop today. It's the 15th, so there's one. Like that's all. I mean, I know that's expensive, but it's not a lot of things. Right? These kids, again, don't. It's so stupid. They already have iPads and iPhone 14s. All but two of them do. What are you doing, man? She's upgrading their iPads for them. 10 days until Christmas. So if I Amazon Prime, I'll be here before Christmas. I can move my wrapping day. Okay, I'll just have to let it hang on. Oh my God. Wrapping day. Tomorrow, so I can wrap everything because I thought I could buy everything today. But. Imagine too, you're like, okay, open presents, everybody opens an iPad, okay. Like, I get iPads are great, but these kids, they're not gonna like it. Again, they're worth them. There's no magic. They're gonna open and be like, oh, okay, I already have one of these. Oh, this is a newer one, okay. So, what are you gonna do with the old ones? Why don't you donate them to like shelters and shit where kids, you know, give them to kids? Yeah, I don't think so. Who are less fortunate than yourself. Now, Alicia might be donating a whole shit ton of money and shit in the back end, but I doubt it. Mm. But now that I've said it, you watch. Next video, she'll be like, look at all the shit we're donating to people. Because she does listen to this video. She does. Hi, Alicia, you dumbass. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me in the eyes. Stop being you. Okay? You are. <laughs> Stop being you. Terrible. I'm trying to tell you this. Soul to soul. You are a terrible parent. <laughs> Buying shit for people does not equal love. How about you're like, let's get them in the most important therapies with the most expensive doctors in our state. That's what you should be doing. Their futures are not bright, and buying them shit doesn't help their future. Yeah, what for? No, I take that back. I'm gonna run to Target, which is right here. You're gonna leave fourteen thousand dollars worth of goods in your van. Oh my god, is she fucking serious? Shit, she's gonna leave that stuff in her van and go into Target. And run to Target, and where everybody knows what your van looks like too, in this where you live, they know you. You idiot. Of course they do. You know what? She'd get robbed and she'd make a video out of it and she'd just buy all the shit again. That's and what she'll stick out like a sore thumb because of her, her red hair. I'm going to do one more store before I head home. Yeah, I can do it quick. Oh, yeah. That's what she said. Run out. Because I got to get some Nintendo um, Switch yeah. stuff. What's he looking at when he looks up there? And uh, we used to have like GameStop and like video game stores. They're still game camp and game game game. Just look. <laughs> Why are you? How are you getting views on your videos? Who is watching this and like this is? Well, we are. 
That's just, this is riveting shit, man. I mean, oh my God, can't wait to see what happens next while she talks to herself on the camera in her van. This is a good comment here. Nice that they can be spoiled. Oh, he's reading, um, oh, he's got another TV up there. But it puts so much pressure on families who aren't so fortunate and makes parents who are struggling to heat their homes this winter feel inadequate. Great comment. <laughs> and again, it's not on her. I get that. But there is such a thing as being, but there is such a thing as being a damned human, right? There's such a thing as being tone deaf and stupid and silly. And she's, she has no idea, or she does, and she realizes that this gets me paid, I could care less what it, what it makes me look like. But just, Alicia, hear me out, because I know you're listening again. You have no staying power, because all you are is a villain. No staying power. People watch you because you're a train wreck, not because you're interesting. Yeah. And that does not... <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's most of the time why I watch people. Um, I only watch three, anyway. God, guys, I hope I haven't been talking to myself this whole time. I just realized that my, uh, fuck, <laughs> my um thing I stopped working, microphone. I don't know why, but um, anyway, hopefully it's, hopefully I caught it in time. Not staying. As I was saying, then train wrecks I love watching are Alexandra, Chantel. I can't look away from the screen and now I'm stuck on this one. That won't stay. Look at Johnny Gate plus A. Everybody, all these people, and if she wants to be like Johnny Gate plus A, 19 kids and counting, they don't have staying power because in the end it all falls apart because it's built on lies. Okay? You don't have staying power because all you do is shop. People might get interested in, well, okay, I'm done with this after a while, right? You don't have any staying power because you're not endearing. You're not humble. You are a cocky ass. Oh, she wouldn't know the word humble. She wouldn't know what that word meant. Asshole. I'm gonna see if they have the horse stuff. It wasn't on her list. So she just left 14 grand with a shit in her van and just went to Target. <laughs> Idiot. She wanted less baby stuff. Okay, stroller. You have a stroller. Just give her one of those that you have at home. I don't even know what she has. It's amazing. He's fucking amazing. Little towel set. A little crib, a little thingy. Shut up. I mean, she doesn't even look at the prices. Why would she look at the prices of this anyway? She doesn't even ask how much the iPads are. Food set. Oh. Okay, I got the doll accessories. I'm not getting the doll here because she likes the reborn looking ones that are. Oh, those are weird. More like realistic. Yeah, they're creepy. Three dolls. All right, Harley wants some more Barbies for her um, jewelry. What's this cute little set? Oh, and it comes with Play-Doh. Oh, that's perfect. Although well, she didn't get cool shit when she was young. That's why she does this. I don't want that one because it's all ripped. Oh, that's like an artist one. How cool. $34 for Barbies. Okay. That's... She's uh. really into Chelsea right now. Um, Have you guys ever seen the Barbie show on Netflix? The and like the CGI animated one. It's actually like good. I my kids used to watch it, and I'd watch it with them like this, and I'd be catch myself be like, I'm watching this show. It is actually <laughs> good. There's humor for adults in it. It's really really well done. I'm not kidding you. That's it, but maybe I'll get her like another Chelsea and the other sister, Stacy Skipper. You know, whichever. I don't know. I was neither of them. It's not Stacey or Skipper. She wanted a mermaid, Barbie. What about all these? I think. Why'd you go shopping like two minutes before Christmas? Then you don't because you don't give a shit, Alicia. You could care less. This is Alicia in everything she does. There's no care taken into her cooking. There's no care taken into her cleaning, unpacking anything, nothing. No care taken into gifts. They're like, oh, it's gonna be expensive shit. You, there's no thought. There's no thoughtfulness. Nothing. There's no. They don't have any identities. There's nothing special for each of the kids. Like, here, you all get the same shit. Mm. Because I don't have time. But expensive. It's expensive. That's all that matters. Yeah. I like that the best. He likes the Harry Potter ones. I don't know if I like that one. Oh, the train. Oh, yeah. That's $75. Here, that would be $150. I could do that. It's like double price for Lego here. This. All right. Jason has been asking for one of these. So I'm going to get that for him. Those things are shit. Okay, Bree wants a hula hoop, so, you know, that means I gotta get a couple, because... They'll break them. If Bree has a hula hoop, other people are gonna want a hula hoop. Oh, that lights up fancy. She doesn't even 
give him pickle colors. She just grabs a whole heap of them. I hate this person. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... You don't need 12 damn hula hoops. Alex, need a hula hoop? <laughs> she just throws shit willy nilly. Oh, here's hula hoops for everybody. Alex, like, thanks. I want a hula hoop, mom. <laughs> hula you dumbass. For... I want hula ex... hoops for everyone. Expensive chain. The 12. Why did you get 12 hula hoops? Patrick and Dejan want the sledding um, snowbirds. Um, no. Oh. Which one do we think is good? Uh, here's a quick tip. If you're getting a snowboard, don't get it at Target. <laughs> get a secondhand one online, like a good one. People grown out of it. Go get them not shitty ones made of wood. Those are like skateboards, snow skateboards. Uh, I thought they were skateboards when she said, um, they ones for snow. Those are not good. No. Their name is Sport Stuff. That's not good. <laughs> See, she puts no thought into anything whatsoever. Mm -hmm. If you're going to get your kids some, sh like, it's high quality electronics, sure, she'll get them that. But then it's coming to, they want a snowboard, then she's going to buy them a Target snowboard that's a piece of shit? Doesn't make any sense to me. That one, no. I think these are, these are good. No, they're not good. No. Like two of those. Nope. Okay. Bodie wants a train set, and this is the only one I'm seeing. I have that train set, by the way. <laughs> you get them at the bay. FAO Schwartz. Okay. Westy loves it, by the way. Okay, let's go over to the electronics department. Um... I was just glancing around the holiday candy and stuff. I did all of your stocking stuff or shopping online. I'll share that, share that in a separate one. All right, let's see what they got for Switch games. Now, Jason wants a Fortnite Switch, which... No, he already has a Switch. I can't get in store. I gotta order that online. So because he wants a Switch that has a little Fortnite logo on, you're gonna give him a different Switch? They already all have Switches. <sighs> we lost all of our Nintendo Switch games. This, this woman here is um, a great, a great candidate for that saying, more money than sense. Our recent vacation. Oh, that this woman is the worst liar on earth. Why do you lie to people with this face? Why do you lie? You lost all of your Nintendo Switch games. 12 of your kids have Nintendo Switches. Let's just say five, six brought them. Okay, you brought six Nintendo Switches. Oh, I didn't hear her say that. All of them lost all of their games? How? How? Why does she just say a thing and then, unless she completely continues to explain it, how? And then don't reward your children with the thing, like remember when the kids broke the TV with the football and she just bought another TV? Don't reward your children for not taking care of their shit. If you don't take care of your shit, that's on you. Sorry, I'm not gonna reward you. These kids have no idea of the value of anything because they'll just get another one mm -hmm. with this face right here. Mm -hmm. Also, Alicia, all you have to do is get them switch cards. They can download it's just like an Apple store. Yes. You can download their games into their Switches, so you don't have to buy cartridges that you can lose. That's exactly right. I only worked that out this year because my husband bought one for um, our nephew. <laughs> and um, that we were talking about buying it on. Sorry. No, he bought him something from the game shop that he wanted. And then his parents were talking about something else. And I said, what are you talking about? And they said, oh, instead of buying it, it could, um, you know, and he loses it. It's a little bit cheaper, and we just buy him the exactly what this bloke just said. Buy it online. Because clearly you're losing the cartridges. Yeah. But you're lying to us. You lost all of your games, all of them. Hmm. They get stolen. You're such a damn. Oh my god, this. As a parent, this should piss you right off. I think everybody who sent me these messages, they're some people are absolutely not even just like, oh, you should check it out. They are absolutely livid at yeah. this video. What she's doing. Yeah. She's just buying shit willy nilly. She doesn't even know what games they lost. She's just making it up. She's lying to you. But w here's what I don't get. If you're gonna be a douchebag, be a douchebag unapologetically. Why do you make up silly little lies? Do you think it makes you look better? Because your kids lost everything and you're going to replace it all? No, that makes you look worse, Alicia. All you have to say is, hey, I'm getting them Nintendo Switch games. No one will say anything. Because, okay, that's a great gift. Okay, no one's going to say a word. Well, I thought they already had that game. No, no one's going to say anything. You lie for what reason? Why would you lie about it? Because they're all narcissists and they all fucking lie. Because they all lie. They think lying is better than the truth. And that they're going to get away with it. I'm going to get Kirby... $60. Paper Mario, Origami King. Now it's all gone? Yeah, it's all gone. Uh, Obviously it's all gone. You're shopping uh, one and a half minutes before Christmas. Mm. Yes, it's all gone. Uh, okay, I'll give that one. You, no, you're just getting willy nilly shit that no one wants. No one's gonna play that game and you're about to drop 60 bucks on it. Mm -hmm. Please. And then yeah. Zelda up here. 
Oh, Holy shit, that's loud. Fire emblem. No. Oh my God. Yep. Uh, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, Super Mario Party. Also, are you just buying one cartridge for each person? Because she's buying games that you need other cartridges to play. So if, you're, if all of your kids have Switches, you're going to need to buy them all the same game. <laughs> so they can't even play together. Did I get... I'll get that other Kirby, too. The Kirby and Forgotten Land, please. You're shopping, shopping. I'm shopping. <laughs> yeah, you are, you dumbass. All right, up here... Oh, my God. This, this, the Zeldas. 50, 60, 60. Uh, basically everything with Animal Crossing, because we already got that. But you lost all the games. You just said you lost all the games. So you uh... Do you have Madden? No. Madden. No, Madden. What a fucking waste of money. What a waste of money. Not for the Switch. Okay, I'm gonna get these down here. What? Uh, right ah. Get the download card, it's cheaper! Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, what's that back there? Ryan's World? Oh, that, yeah, I'll get that one. What? Yeah. Yeah. Download yeah. card's not good enough for her. Thank you. She has to have it in her hands, it has to be tangible. Minecraft! Atari? They don't play Atari, Alicia. Atari wasn't, they weren't even in, like, yeah, in their dad's... Exactly. They weren't even thought in their dad's head when Atari came out. Nutsack when Atari came yeah. out. Yeah. Okay? Not even close. Exactly. They don't, they're not going to play Atari games. <laughs> oh, I got that. No, you don't. I might play that one. And then the sun... Just because she knows what Atari is, the kids are not going to find that interesting at all. Sonic games. That's wild. They don't even have Atari. Uh, Good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Did Mario Olympic games? Did we get Fortnite? Oh my god. What do you get Fortnite? Got here? Fortnite. Mario Olympic. Is it Fortnite free? The games. Yeah, plants for zombies, please. Yep, just need a switch. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. Holy <laughs> shit. A switch light. Um he gets like I do, Bella Alexandra. Any color doesn't matter. Okay, I have to check out there for this. How many games did she buy? I don't even. I, I lost count. Looks like there's like honestly 15 games. Stuff, and then I have to check. How many games did she buy? So my conservative estimate is $600 worth of Nintendo Switch games she just bought, which brings her total up to about $14,500. Not including what's in this buggy here, which is probably another two or $300. Let's just bring it up to an even $15,000. For this stuff up front, but I wanted to get some Apple gift cards for the kids. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I just said. Oh, you know what I should do is get, I'll get the 50s. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. So she bought six hundred dollars. If she gets twelve of those, six hundred dollars of Apple gift cards. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I put these in their stock. Does Harley need a fifty dollar Apple gift card? Does she? Does she really? Does Bodie? Do they need that shit? That must be the youngest ones. Eleven, twelve. Six hundred dollars. What that was? The younger ones wouldn't even know what that was. Just like that. Oh my God. I didn't even spend that much on my little children each for each of them. And they got tons of shit. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I'm thinking I should get one for their iPad as well. So we don't link our credit card to any of their devices because they just would like spend and spend and spend not realizing it. So we only link the Apple cards. Like you? So then when they run out of money, like they can't buy anything else. So yeah, I don't believe you. I'm actually going to get these so that at least on each of their devices, they have the ability to buy, buy like some apps right away. You just did that. You gave them $50 ones. What do you mean? So she's adding $300 more to that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what, what's the, what was the point of buying the $50 ones if she's going to buy the $25 ones as well? We're at $15,800. And probably more because I don't even know what all that shit's worth. Okay, that just made us do four transactions. Thank Why? Four. Why? For the gift cards. Yeah, you bought, she bought $900 for the gift cards. I think we ended up doing like six transactions. I'm gonna have to look at the receipts when we get home. Okay, instead of a Let's get shit in her hair. pretzel, I rewarded myself with a soda. <laughs> Reward yourself with water! Your liver needs water! Your heart! Your skin, everything in your body is screaming for the sustenance of water. And all you feed it is coffee and Coke. Water! So good shopping. You're a douche. Pay for it. Why are you buying a teenager on 
Nobody hates you for buying your kid a hula hoop. People hate you for being a douchebag exploiter who just buys shit like crazy and teaches your children that nothing matters. Mm -hmm. That's what, no, you're not getting hate. What are, you, are you saying people are hating you for buying a hula hoop? How dumb are you? Yeah. Sorry. Very. The hula hoops are fun for any age. You're, a, you're, <laughs> you are so stupid. Jesus, people are going to have the, that's what the people are going to have the problem with. <laughs> not the 12 iPads or those, the games or the Apple cards. It, and it hurts me. You are so dumb and you should feel bad about who you are. People are going to hate me for a hula hoop. No, they hate you for buying $16,000 worth of shit on your first Christmas shopping trip. It's more than $1,000 per child. 32, and I'm still going to try out a hula hoop, okay? I hope your hip breaks in six different places. <laughs> Is there an age limit on being a douchebag? Honestly, they all wanted hula hoops after um, we went to the Big Apple Circus. Those hula hoops are going to end up in the yard broken yeah. in the first sure? half they an hour. Long. No, they they did long. This woman, this witch just dropped 16 grand in four hours. Holy shit. I have to get in the house before everyone gets home at three. Why? They all know what they're getting. Mm. They all know! They can just look at the video, you dumbass! Where are you gonna hide this shit? You have no room in your house because you buy so much shit. My dad can help me. I have to tell oh you a funny story. So, oh, I don't know if it's two, either a year or two ago, we did this hilarious TikTok where we had a pizza guy. I don't even know why we did this. We had those purple morph suits and the pizza guy came, like literally the actual pizza guy delivering our pizza. And we're like, hey, do you want to be in a TikTok with us? And he's like, okay. <laughs> His face. <laughs> oh God, I love it. It's my face, but I'm looking at, you know who. Fodder. Like random, right? So we did that. Um, oh my gosh, what is that challenge called? Where like you have the the, whole, the first guy had. I love how you tell stories. So love it. Mm, good story time. It's like my kid telling a story and it costs right in my eyeballs. The horse bed on and everyone's just standing there. And then at the end, it's like everybody's jamming out. Anyways, we put on purple morph suits and we did this random TikTok with the pizza guy. To this day, like a year or two later, my kids are still like, hey, when's that cool pizza guy coming back? Like they think that that's what pizza guys do. They come hang out with us. Is she fucking serious with that story? <laughs> Is she serious with that story? Anyways, ran it. <laughs> Thanks for this shitty story. To him at the. <laughs> oh, God, I need this laugh. You know what, guys? Anytime I'm feeling down, I'm going to watch this bloke. I love him. Mall in the Apple Store. He's like, I know you. It was really funny. <laughs> was it? Is that your funny story? That's your funny story. Let's recap Alicia's hilarious story. Back in the day, right? We did a story. Uh, we had a morph suit on. And we asked the pizza guy to be in the video. Right? Funny, right? And then, oh my God, I ran into that guy. Funny. That's not funny, Alicia. I'm sorry. If someone gives this woman a TV show, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed. Oh my God, I reckon he needs his own TV show. He's fucking hilarious. Um, Anyways. I looking at headphones because he said, just don't get those. And he told me a different time to get so I'm gonna order them. What's better than AirPods? The kids are all aren't, aren't, not all of them, but the older ones from headphones, like, good one. You just bought headphones for the trip, and they have earpods. For their <laughs> listening to the music. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's not funny. Story. Okay, I just got home, and Deshaun is home, so he's helping carry in stuff. Hey, Deshaun, here's all the shit I bought you. Come see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one more thing she takes I mean, away from her look. kids. They don't even get like, look at the house she lives in. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound like I'm so up myself, like, oh, look how horrible the house is in. But you guys know where I'm coming from, yeah? She spends all this shit and all this money. Fucking upgrade your house or renovate it or something. You get to be surprised on Christmas. Like, the best part of Christmas and she ruins it. I'm not surprised. We told him not to peek. <laughs> don't peek at the Nike bags and the 12 iPads you're carrying in. So, okay. okay. 
pick us all brought in quick. You're a douche, okay, man. Got it. That under control, and then make the snack board and online shop. Okay, here is the hot cocoa bar, charcuterie board, snack oh. shitboard, factory board, whatever you want. We call it a shark cooter board. Uh, there's actual apples on there. Miracle. I don't know what the rest is. Is it? Pe are they peeps? Right here. Oh, I made the kid. Cool. There's literally Fruit Loops on the edge. Oh my god, there's two. No one eats candy canes. We'll snack today because of the snowstorm. Here, Patrick's trying to decide which cocoa bomb. Ugh, I don't know, s'mores, I guess. How much you put in here? Not that much. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, really good. Also, ew, are you making hot chocolate with water? Ew, guys, yeah. you warm up milk. Yep. Are you really? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I hate that. I, I know some people who have their hot chocolate with water and I think it's disgusting. It's like the 80s poor. It's like growing up in the 80s poor. Yeah. That's why we had the 80s, the Nestle. You put it in hot water, but you just triple the chocolate. It's still gross. Use warm milk. Yep. Ew. It's okay. It'll work. These are peeps, but they're like crispy. Ew. Oh, they are peeps. I thought so. The peeps. Are Tostitos. Cool. Marshmallows and Tostitos. Great combo. Oh my God. How kind of shark board is this? These are Fruit Loops. Those are so good. Yeah, he's on the go. She actually really is proud of that board. <laughs> Enjoy your hot water and chocolate. See? Uh huh. Oh, yummy. 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 It's literally going to taste like cocoa water. Yeah. Gotta put some creamer or something in it. Yeah, I accidentally ate these poor kids. Many candies when I was making the board, so I'm not going to have hot chocolate right now. I know, because you probably got a claw. Go got a claw going. <laughs> the Marley kids are home. Okay, Wait, James has the water for you. You have to put the water in it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> the water. Water? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, no, isn't it milk? Yeah, you have it's milk. It's really hot. You can't drink it yet. <laughs> you gotta, okay. Is it the husband or the son? It's, this is how you know where Alicia doesn't come from anything. She doesn't understand anything. She didn't get any of this shit when she was young. She's just buying shit. You put the chocolate bomb in there and you do hot milk on top of the chocolate bomb. Then you let it mix and stir and like turn into hot chocolate. Oh, oh, I like okay. oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> it's gross. Oh. It's literally hot. Oh, that is so disgusting. Look at that water. Water with like shitty chocolate in it. How did it go? It just did it by itself. Yeah, mom, you need to watch. Bloaties and shit too. I'm sorry. Ew. Yeah, that's not. Ew. Sweet dash. Don't use your finger. Let me see the bird. We're having okay. All right. Does that look good appetizing to you? I'm really going like Jason's did. Jason's all of a sudden like popped out. Mm. Oh, ew. Wait, mom, do it again. Yeah, that's not mom. Ew, she used her finger. Oh my god, is she fucking serious? What a pig. Oh no! There we go. Oh! Isn't that cool, Bodie? Now it just looks like toilet water. She's touching everybody. Yeah. Yeah. We need to organize the Christmas present. Does she have a husband? Can people please leave me a comment below and tell me if she has a husband, this woman? And, and is he as much as an idiot as her? She has a lock to her bedroom so no one can come in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the, the NFL thing they got. Um, and I wanted to give the twins their shoes. So did she not give them their iPhone 14s yet? And so they're going to get iPhone 14s and iPads for Christmas. Basketballs. Nobody, if you have an iPhone 14, you're not going to use an iPad. Holy shit. <laughs> no, the best. Oh, she bought them basketballs and shoes for not even for Christmas. Holy shit. Because I got to look at the shoes because I can't remember which ones I bought. Oh, wait, I bought you the same ones, I think. Yeah. They didn't have your size in the all-white ones, but... Are you cheating on your own? Excuse me? Gorgeous little boys. Give me my shoes! No, 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 you, you, you made your bed, Alicia. That's who they are. That's your fault. That's who they are. They didn't have very many in your sizes. So they're not for Christmas? Oh, I'm confused. Oh, okay. The kid in me who didn't get the under- oh, are they for Christmas? And she just gave it to him early. Agassi, okay? Just screaming right now. Like, these kids, oh, okay, cool, thanks, let's now. And they just throw it. They don't even give a shit. It wasn't very many choices. <laughs> oh, we got a new basketball! <laughs> they didn't care, they just got like $200 shoe. Yep, just left the shoes there and went for the basketball. It was like, hey, basketball! <laughs> that is heartbreaking to me. Because the kid in me, man, this is like- Yeah, I there's no appreciation. There's no value. You know, kids grew up like that were like this, and just like you envy them, you envy them, but they don't even give a shit. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, I'm not gonna do this. She's gotta pose it for a picture. This is the most important thing to her, is posing yeah. it for a photo. Yep. And a TikTok. That like she does with everything else. That's it. That's all she cares about. <clears throat> right, I hope it hits you right in the noggin. <laughs> right in the schnaz. Right in your ugly sweater. <laughs> See, I wear ugly sweaters because I'm being comedic. She wears ugly sweaters because she thinks it looks cool and it doesn't. Where do you even buy shirts like that? No, Stop I... it. Okay, Alicia. I said 12 games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26 games. Oh she spent $1,560 on Nintendo Switch games. Fuck. So we're at easily $17,000 right now. Gloves. I didn't, and I didn't even get the toys in there. Okay. None of them. Here's the current haul. Oh my God. Here is the online shopping. Okay. <laughs> What's your online buy shop? Um, the cross for she already bought the crosses. $269 the Lego. Dollars. Jason's Fortnite Switch. Patrick really wanted this um, set, but I could only find it on eBay. So I ordered that, looked good, checked it over. That will be coming from eBay. And then I went to this boutique site and got some cute clothes for Nevaeh. Um, Cause she's always had one running out of clothes before everyone else, before I get to the laundromat. So you just buy them new clothes instead of washing your clothes? Yep. And then I went on Wegmans. Oh my God, she's fucking insane. And did the catering order for Christmas day. We have a revolving door on Christmas day. Our family all comes through. Holy shit. Oh visit. So we just have a ton of food that day. That all looks good. So let's say three grand. She's at 20, she's at uh, 20,600 by my conservative estimate. 20,000. And she's not done. Okay, Josh is busy, so James is helping me really quick. What's Josh busy with? What's he busy with? What's he doing? What's he busy with? He's not busy. Sort these games because I don't know which game to give to who. Okay. So Alex is going to come in and see all the gifts that you got him for Christmas, and he's not going to get surprised either? That's so great. You're such a great mom. You guys are so amazing. All right. This is, and again, another lie just uncovered right there. They lost all their games? How do you know which ones to get if they lost them all? Yeah, that's true. Why are you lying? And again, it doesn't work when you play games like Super Mario, um, Mario Kart, and like games that are more than like the Luigi's one. A lot of these games are like multiple players, and they're not going to be able to play with each other because you need to buy multiple games of them. So we lost all the Switch games. So Alex is literally right in here looking at everything he's getting for Christmas. New York City. What an asshole. So now we need to... Can you hide some shit? Just bring the games over? You're so gross, have... Alicia. Or it's James, not Alex. Did you want Switch games? No. Oh, but not, you wouldn't want any of these anyways. Yeah, I'll get you. I don't buy them. Okay, so so uh -huh. with what money we need to do Zoe dash so she just literally bought one of everything it's like hey pick up for some shit this is again why, why lie why are you lying why are you lying about these stupid little things Patrick Jordan Jason Bodie no Jason has been playing this is crazy these kids can't even talk. <laughs> you buy them one game for Christmas one game they're not gonna even this is there's so much coming at them that they yeah. can't they can't even take a minute to appreciate anything yeah they the can't they can't appreciate it they can't get wrap their mind around how much they're actually getting so it's all so much to them. They're overwhelmed with it. They're, they're going to be so overwhelmed. These kids come from trauma, right? Yeah. They're already overwhelmed, and then you're overwhelming them more. These kids are going to end up like you, Alicia, but they might not be able to make the money that you make right now. Likely not. Specifically, if you're not going to let them go to college, like she said in her other chat the other day. Someone pointed out to me that they, they're not, she's like, they don't need jobs. They're not going to need, yes, they will need jobs. Does she think this is- Is she fucking serious? Where does she, th how does she think they're going to survive without jobs? Are they going to be famous and not need jobs? You're gonna last forever? Everybody hates you. You literally get more down votes than, than you really get more thumbs down than more thumbs up in your video. Everybody, there's 20, there are thousands upon thousands of people in your snark form. Yeah, but at the, at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter because she's still making the money. They're still watching her and they're still thumbsing down her. So they clearly, they're still watching her. I mean, I watch Alexandra and she gets my money. So, you know, she's she doesn't care at the end of the day. They're still watching her stuff. Forms, more than anybody else, I think, next to Trisha Paytas. You're not going to survive this. Deluxe and Bodhi, maybe? I don't even know. Oh, just, much just, your lies, your lies. But I don't know what I got for. <laughs> you don't know what games they lost. If they... Next time. F off. I'm actually... 
Thank you for coming Christmas shopping with me today. You are strong. You're beautiful. You're a dink. You are loved. You belong. <laughs> oh, does she say that at the end of every video? You're a douche dink. And I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time. F off. I'm actually like fired up upset about this. I know, because I can, I can tell. <laughs> it's First of all, it's overwhelming for these children to get so much shit that they, can't, they don't even know what to do with it all. It's going to be impossible for them to know what to do with it. They're not thankful. She got them their shoes and they're just like, oh, throw them over here. We got basketball. They don't care about any of this stuff. No. Alicia, do better. You're an influencer. First of all, you are going to make people feel bad about themselves, even though I know it's not your responsibility, but you have a, like a, a duty almost. If you're going to be out here and every, you don't get, Alicia, don't forget that you don't get paid unless people watch you. These people pay your bills, these fans of yours. And by the day, Thousands of fans are turning on you by the day because you're not responsible. You're, you're not a good parent. You're terrible at this. You're greedy and disgusting. And you're teaching your children very bad things. Your kids do not value anything. And when Deshaun and Nivea, and when Deshaun and Nivea go home, if they do go home, they're not going to be able to have this lifestyle later. So it's got to, you're just not careful. You just don't give a shit like anything you do. Nothing matters to you. Just the flex and the conversation on your chat where people are just calling you out and you deserve it. Does she buy four for the sake of it? Yes. Yes, she does. Wow, now James can see all the presents. Won't it ruin it for him? Yes, yes it will. I watch another family, they know true meaning of Christmas. They get their kids uh, gifts for want, need, wear, and read. One gift for each. I think it's a perfect way to teach your kids the meaning of Christmas and the value of gifts. Alicia also thinks she's a Christian, right? Okay, not not this where they just get stuff endlessly. Do better. Out of control, your kids can't appreciate anything because you get so much. Yeah. You can totally see where the, which kids are your favorites. Spending all that money on your kids doesn't make you a good mother. That's true, makes you a shitty mother actually. Buying your kids shit doesn't make you anything good at all. Unless you're a grandmother or a grandfather. That's different. Yeah. <laughs> did Alex really write expensive chain? <laughs> yes, he did. Because it doesn't give a shit. It doesn't have to be, it just has to be expensive because that's all that matters. That's what Alicia is teaching her children. Is it expensive? Oh, okay. We'll judge people by that. Lost all your Switch games? Good grief. Then buy something practical that makes sense like a case. <laughs> yes. yes. But hey, you have the money. Go replace those little $55, $65 games. I don't have money to waste, so therefore I take care of my shit. That's right. I think these kids are going to have a reality check when they move out of the house. These kids aren't going to move out of the house. They're not going to be able to. And then once you see her start like responding, you know that everything is above that's been deleted. She's deleted thousands of comments. So head over to Doherty Snarkity if you want to see more. There's a big thread on this at Doherty Snarkity. Just people just livid at Alicia. And Alicia wants you to be. She's doing this on purpose. It's all calculated. Okay? And in the end, the kids alone to suffer. Alicia, you're an idiot. Do better. I mean, drink water. Please, for the love of God. Everybody take a deep breath. <laughs> this Everybody take a deep breath. Snark today. It was a long video, but she's this woman, and then she's not done. You know it. But I'm not. The one thing I'm going to say though is that Wegman's order looked so good. I wish we had Wegman's here because like Wegman's food is good. I just sub there. Oh my god, it's good. That's all I'm saying. But uh, damn, you guys were right. She's a dish. But you guys are not, and you're amazing. And I hope Christmas is going well for y'all. Watch all the Christmas movies, spend time with family, cozying up with some hot chocolate with hot milk, which is what I'm going to do tonight with my kids. It's going to be great. We're watching Home Alone too. I'm so excited. Make sure you remember that you need to be here. You are valuable and incredible, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I love this man. Oh, I really enjoyed that. God, I enjoyed the laugh. He really makes me laugh. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you were laughing along with me too. Um, I hope you enjoy me doing the... Um, the oh, let me try saying her name again. The Doherty... The Doherty dozen. <laughs> Okay, yeah. All right, my friends, leave me some comments below what you think about this insane woman. She's just out of control. Anyway, I will see you in another video tomorrow. It's good night for me. I'm ready for bed. Love to you all. Bye for now.